Hi everyone, uh, my name is Gerald and I just wanted to make a quick video to help you save a little bit of time if you're trying to find some of the parts of your uh, Heister forklift, Heister or Yale forklift. Uh, this one is a 2009 5,000 pound lift truck with an LPG engine and um, when you come a little closer, <clears throat> so I've got the um, I've got the propane tank swung out of the way. The in my model, the seat folds back. Um, the steering wheel tilts up and down, so you kind of have to move things around to get access to the engine compartment. Um, and first thing, um, we've got our on this side. Why don't we come over here? So this is gonna be our automatic transmission filter on the side. The red is the oil filter. And um, what I had, what, the reason I'm making this video is that what I had really uh, a little bit of trouble finding was actually the brake fluid reservoir. And that is, it's shown on the diagram as being above the pedal, but you actually have to peel back all of this casing on the dashboard in order to get to the brake fluid reservoir. Um, and then just a couple of others. In the back, you have your radiator reservoir, um, coolant. That one is... I'm gonna swing over to this side. This is the hydraulic. This is the automatic transmission fluid. And um, my starter is right here. So I've replaced the starter before. And, but getting this apart was really tricky. There's some clips and things, but it's very well hidden. It's a it's, uh, real mess to, to take that apart and get, it, get to it. Um, and then obviously the, the uh, oil fill is right here and the dipstick for the engine is right here. So those are your common service points. And I hope this quick video speeds up your access of the brake fluid reservoir. Uh, it's a, I got an indicator on the dashboard, luckily that I was low on brake fluid. And uh, so eventually I found everything.